Hello, good morning. Thanks for joining in today. Today, in this new season, we are going to talk about kidneys. So today I'm going to talk about the anatomy of the kidneys and in the next few videos, I'm going to talk about the common illnesses or diseases that affect our kidneys. These are very simple videos which are going to explain the basic structure of the kidney so ordinary people can understand what is happening in our body. So let's first talk about the basic anatomy of the kidney, where the kidney is in our body. So the kidney develops in the pelvis. So when the baby or the fetus is in the mum's tummy during pregnancy, the kidneys are lying in the pelvis. So they are quite low down, in our, literally below our groins. And as the baby grows during pregnancy, the kidneys start moving up and up and up until they're sitting in our lumbar area, which is our loins. So these are the spine, which is our backbone. And as you can see, kidneys extend to about three or four of our spines at the back. So they will extend from the last vertebra from which the rib arises, which is the 12th thoracic vertebra and will go down to third lumbar vertebra. So they extend for about three or four width of the spine. What is the actual size of the kidney in an adult? So if I make my fist across like this, so this is what the size of my kidney would be if I make my fist like long like this, rather than making it round, then the size of my kidney would be approximately the size of my fist. And obviously, if I have normal kidneys, then I will have a pair of it. I have two. So I'll have one on the right side, one on the left side. But they're not in the front of the tummy. They're tucked next to the spine, right at the back of the tummy. So if you look at the kidneys from behind, so this is our back, not the front anymore. Buttocks, lumbar vertebra, and the thoracic vertebra that we just talked about. Kidneys are lying right at the back. This is our last a rib from the back. As you can see, there is an angle between the lumbar vertebra here and the bottom of our rib. And the kidney is tucked inside this angle. So it's like an angle like this and the kidney is tucked in here. So this angle that is formed by the bottom of our ribs and our spine is called the renal angle. Renal is anything to do with the kidneys. Nephric or renal means to do with the kidneys. And the kidneys are tucked in that angle. So this is called the renal angle. So if any disease of the kidney happens, like infection of the kidneys, the pain happens in this angle. If there is any injury in this angle, like a blunt injury, like a punch or something, then the kidneys can get injured. Because this area is very important where the kidneys are lying. So the next thing is to look at the st basic structure of the kidney. So that's our kidney. It's probably our left kidney if you're looking at it from the front. If you're looking at it from the back, then it's probably our right kidney. There are three main structures that go in and out of the kidney from this little dimple in the kidney, which is called the hilum of the kidney. Hilum in every organ, whether it's the lung, or the liver or the kidney is the place where the major structures go in and out of that organ. So in the case of the kidney, this is the hilum. And three main organs come in and out of that kidney. So one is the red thing that I have drawn, which is the artery. So which is called the renal artery. It arises from the main blood vessel in our tummy called the aorta. The second blood vessel, which I've drawn in blue, is the blood vessel which, after supplying the blood from the renal artery, all the dirty blood or impure blood is recollected and goes out of the kidney through this blue big structure called the renal vein. And this drains into the inferior vena cava, which is a main vein in our body, and that takes the blood back to the heart. The third structure that comes out of the kidney is this green thing I've drawn. So at the top, it looks like a funnel and at the bottom, it looks like a tube. This is the ureter, which brings urine 
which has formed our kidney out of the kidney and takes it to our bladder, the urinary bladder, before it's passed out of our body as urine or wee. At the top, it looks like a funnel. At the bottom, it looks like a tube. So the top bit is called the pelvis and the bottom is the main ureter. On top of each of our kidney is like a small organ or a gland called the adrenal gland. It's like a cap sitting on top of each of our kidney. So left adrenal gland sits on top of the left kidney. The right adrenal gland sits on top of the right kidney. This is one of the most important glands in our body. And I'm going to talk about this gland in a separate series of videos. Now the next thing we are going to briefly discuss is which all other organs in our tummy lie very close to the kidney. Now obviously the left kidney is on the left side of our tummy. There are different organs on the left side of our tummy. Right kidney is on the right side of our tummy or right side of our spine. And there are different organs which lie on the right side of our spine. So the two main organs which lie very close to the left kidney is our spleen and the left side of our colon. Other structures like pancreas, which is the tail of the pancreas, and also the stomach lie very close to the kidney on our left side. On the right side, these structures, the spleen, and the left colon, and the tail of the pancreas are quite far away on the left, so they can't be close to our right kidney. So on the right side, we have the liver, which is very close to our right kidney. The duodenum, again, if you're not sure what duodenum is, please watch my video on the digestive system, on the anatomy of our digestive tract. Duodenum lies very close to the right kidney and also the right side of our colon lies very close to the right kidney. So the last thing we are going to talk about the anatomy of the kidney is kidney is surrounded by quite strong fascias. Now fascias like we have a pillow and we cover it with a pillowcase. Some people cover their pillows with two pillowcases just to keep the pillow clean. The same thing happens with the kidney. Kidney has got these pillowcases wrapped around it. They are not one or two but three or four of these cases which surround the kidney. Some of them are like little tight sheets. They are like uh, very thin. Others are a bit more fatty. So what is the purpose of these cases around the kidney or these layers around the kidney? Which There are two main reasons. Number one, it protects the kidney from damage. And also the second reason, it, it fixes the kidney. Kidney is not flopping around in the back of our tummy. It's fixed in one place. Because if the kidney starts flopping around, it will damage the kidney. So this was the main basic anatomy of the kidney. If you have any questions about any intricate details of the anatomy of the kidney, then please do write it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer your questions. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the functions of the kidney. And following that, we're going to talk about abnormalities of the kidneys and different diseases that affect the kidneys. So I'm grateful to you for watching my videos and please do remember to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care.